This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings everyone, and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. How real is the danger that California will be struck very soon by the big one? Now, as we will see on this program, that distinct possibility is much more imminent than many may realize. The Daily Mail wrote on Tuesday, August 21, 16 significant tremors, those at magnitude 4.5 or above, shook the Pacific Ring of Fire on Monday, following a spate of 53 that hit the region Sunday. The quakes rattled Indonesia, Bolivia, Japan and Fiji, but failed to reach the western coast of the United States, which also falls along the infamous geological ring. The tremors have raised concerns that California's big one, a destructive earthquake of magnitude 8 or greater, may be looming. The article goes on to say that scientists have previously warned that ring of fire activity may trigger a domino effect that sets off earthquakes and volcanic eruptions elsewhere in the region. California, which straddles the huge San Andreas fault line and sits on the eastern edge of the ring, is long overdue a deadly earthquake, researchers claim. In fact, scientists agree that it is absolutely certain, with a 98-99% certainty, that earthquake magnitude 8 or higher will strike California within the next 30 years. But I think that estimate of 30 years is very, very optimistic. The article goes on to say that an enormous 8.2 magnitude earthquake struck in the Pacific Ocean close to Fiji and Tonga on Sunday. Now that was Tuesday. Now let's go on to Wednesday, August 22. The Sun reported this. A huge 6.3 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Oregon today. The quake has sparked fears the so-called big one could hit California anytime now. Scientists say that the shocks will last for as long as six minutes and aftershocks could last for months. Terrifyingly, they also predict it could trigger a tsunami of 85 foot high waves, which could drown as many as 33,000 people on the West Coast. And then it goes on to say that Richard Astor, professor of geophysics at Colorado State University, wrote recently, the earthquake situation in California is actually more dire than people may realize. Now, the countries which are in the Pacific Ring of Fire includes the following, but there are others, of course, but here are the ones I like to mention. Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, Chile, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Fiji, Guatemala, Honduras, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Peru, Philippines, Russia, Singapore, and of course, the United States. But we need to understand that earthquake activity isn't limited to the Ring of Fire countries. Deutsche Welle wrote on Tuesday, August 21, a powerful magnitude 7.3 earthquake hit the coast of Venezuela on Tuesday. I looked at major earthquake activity on Thursday, August 23. And when I say major, I mean activity of earthquakes 4.5 and higher. Iran, 4.7. Japan, region, 5.0. Peru, Bolivia border, 5.2. These were major earthquakes so far on Thursday, August 23. You know, huge earthquakes are prophesied to occur before Christ's return. Christ made this very, very clear. He spoke about earthquakes will strike in different places, even in places you and I may not even anticipate. 
and they will become bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is even the case before the so-called Great Tribulation will start. These earthquake activities are described by Christ as part of the beginning of sorrows prior to the Great Tribulation. Of course, they will continue during the Great Tribulation and the so-called Day of the Lord all the way up to the return of Christ. It is entirely possible, it is very probable, it is very likely, it is almost certain that California will be struck by the big one and that this will happen very, very soon. Now, you might not agree, but let's look at some historical facts. I'd like to give you the seven biggest earthquakes in California history. The first one happened on January 9, 1857, Fort Tejon, magnitude 7.9. The second one, Owens Valley, March 26, 1872, magnitude 7.4. The third Imperial Valley, February 24, 1892, magnitude 7.8. Of course, then you have the famous San Francisco earthquake, April 18, 1906, magnitude 7.8. Some say 7.9, very close to the 8.0. West of Eureka, an earthquake, January 31, 1922, magnitude 7.3. Six, Kern County, July 21, 1952. Magnitude 7.3 and 7 Landis, June 28, 1992, magnitude 7.3. So, even based on history, you can see that it is not improbable that California will be struck by an earthquake of a magnitude of 8.0 or higher. What about you? Are you prepared? for these eventualities. And I'm not just talking about California, as we've seen an earthquake struck at the coast, you know, in front of Oregon and in other places. Indications are from the Bible that a huge earthquake will strike Israel. Another one will strike Italy, Germany, other places. We are in the beginning of sorrows, I have no doubt, do you? The beginning of sorrows, as Christ describes them in Matthew 24. The next, of course, major event is the beginning of the Great Tribulation. But earthquakes are continuing to strike, and they will, and they will become bigger and bigger. Are you prepared physically? It's not wrong to be prepared physically in case of such an eventuality. But what is much more important, you have to be prepared spiritually. Your relationship to God has to become such that you can be sure that God will protect you and God has promised that he will protect his people from these events which are going to take place. Can you have the confidence that God is going to protect you when these big, huge earthquakes strike? We have prepared two booklets which you should read. The one has to do with the book of Revelation, the mysteries of the book of Revelation. And the other one, perhaps surprisingly for you, is the theory of evolution. Because in this booklet we show what happened in the past and what is going to happen in the future insofar as biblical prophecy is concerned and it has nothing to do with evolution. So you should read those two free booklets and get ready physically and much more importantly spiritually. And until next time, this is Norbert Lenk for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.